a quantum analy analysis on these lyrics. Now I want to present here, because you are all here, the first book in Suriname to the organizer of this conference, Professor Maurits Hassenkamp. Please, could you please come here and take this book for the, for the community of Suriname. It is my uh, present for the community of Suriname for 140 years indentured labor that we have served at the, the celebration that we have. I hope you would read it and I hope you will also have all the uh, information that you can use for your study and help young people to study on this subject because it's very important. That's my gift for Sudanese community. Being a local counselor in The Hague, the first I, I wrote a proposal about slavery and indentured labor to give direction to the council to reserve money for projects in 2013 about this topic and to find additional European, European funding. I see here someone who knows that I worked very hard for this to, to uh, get some money so that we can celebrate something in the Netherlands. So thank you also that you're here. And last year, as I told you, we were uh, very busy in uh, translating this novel from Urdu to Dutch. The author, Saidi, he wrote three songs for the novel, which transmits the feelings, transmits the feelings of migrants at the time and the emotions of people when they arrived in Suriname, um, facing new circumstances. He thought that the Indian poetry had a characteristic of reflecting the history. For instance, this is of the last king of India, Bahadur Shasifar, are famous for recording the political unrest and the injustice of the English colonization provinces. While the author, Saidi, was writing the song about departure, he tried to find authentic songs for the occasion, but he could not find any. And at this moment, he thought, what happened with the original songs? Where are they? This subject kept us engaged in a discussion, in the discussion regarding finding facts about Indian authentic songs and lyrics. The question mentioned above uh, continued to remain in our, in our mind, unsolved. But we discovered a lot of literature has been written concerning the role of art and culture in slavery. The spirituals and blues are the melodic history of the pain and miseries encountered by black people. In this paper, we will address the blues. Since it is assumed, it is assumed that West African slaves would have brought them to the Americas. The blue, uh, the blue lyrics are very well known that, they are, that these are written by slaves, which elaborate their lives under the agency of slavery. A famous phrase is that history is written by the conquerors or by the masters. But the author of, the, of this novel said that in the case of the blues, the history is written by the slaves. The blues reflects the so social political scenario as to the gusts of Bahadur Shah Sifar. Further research on Indian traditional music brought us towards an interesting article written by Peter Manuel, who addressed the al Habirha in Ramayan as songs brought by indentured neighbors to the Caribbean. From these three music styles, we choose to keep our focus on the Birha. If you want to take our history from poetry, we may discover some facts that history probably could not register. 